Next one is KDD, uh, navigation system for the nation. Because of my hand, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. My name is Ben Hoffman. I'm currently a bachelor student at the uh, Office of Administration at the University of Mannheim in Germany. And today I'm going to talk about my project Spendenavi. Just as a basic introduction, Spendenavi is the German word and could be translated to navigation system for the nations. And uh, as a good start for this topic, I would like to show you a picture of the basement of my family's home back in Germany. And now a uh, room in a German refugee. I basically showed you this to point out that on the one side there's an unbelievable amount of households that own or store items that they do not need anymore and would surely like to be prepared for a good cause. That could be clothes, uh, could be furniture, could be technical devices. And on the other, on the other hand, we have a lot of non-profit organizations, both big ones, also that have offices all along Germany, and small ones like local charity associations that are searching for donations and kind. That's exactly the thing many households would like to give away. So as a solution for this problem, uh, and the problem is that the uh, exchange of donations often fails because every organization only communicates its demand on its own website. So if a local organization like the Diakonie Cologne would need a new table, they only post that on their own website and maybe on their own Facebook page. And so if I would like to donate a table to a charity organization, I would have to search through thousands of websites to find out where I can get, uh, where I can put my table to a good cause. Uh, as a solution for the problem, I built up the web page Trendhubby, which basically says, okay, every organization can create their own account in a data database and basically state what they need for donations, clothes, tables, furniture, technical devices, what are their opening, opening hours, so when can people walk off their donations, and what are their addresses. And the basic idea is that then the visitor of the site could simply enter his address into a simple form, and the website is placed in the map showing all the organizations near him that are collecting donations and kind. Um, after testing the system, uh, after implementing and testing the system in Cologne, which is a city in Germany, I got a lot of feedback, basically from small organizations, who said, okay, uh, I start, started with focusing on refugees and refugee homes, and they said, okay, but donations and kind are basically needed for all people in need. So I uh, shifted the focus from just refugees to all people in need, and said, okay, we're going to make the donation site uh, where you can donate everything you have for people in need. And the second uh, shift of focus was that now the website also contains a form that, now, uh, that allows individuals to share donations with our organization as an intermediary. So basically we have three target groups now. First of all, the most important one, the associations, non-profit organizations that want to receive donations in order to give them back to need Individuals. Then we have individuals that want to donate something but do not know where they can do it. They now have two options. First of all, they could enter their address into this website form and find a nearby organization that would like to take this donation. Or they can uh, say, hmm, near me there is no organization that would like to have my donation. So I create an own custom entry on the website and other individuals can then react to this entry and we can directly share the donation. And as a third target group, I uh, found out that corporations often have lots of old computers or lots of old furniture, which they would like to get rid of, and I think if you uh, enable them to donate this furniture to, this would also be a great step. So now to focus on the social impact of this website. In general, I think everyone can imagine that uh, donations in kind have true direct impact. First of all, the general benefit of donations for the people in need, higher living standards and lower expenditures, because we get useful things for free. And of course, the recycling aspect, as uh, things that are normally just stored, useless, and people store are now reused. 
Yeah, and how does the website help to increase this benefits, to support the general system of donations of kind? First of all, the website can increase the quantity of donations because the centralized database can also be promoted centrally. So every organization does not have to promote its, uh, its own website, but we can basically say, okay, just promote one website that contains all the information for all the organizations. Then of course it becomes much it becomes much easier for individuals to give away donations. And this basically increases the quantity. Then as already mentioned, the website can also help to protect the environment. The same recycling aspect things can be used. And the website also aims to create a mentality among people. Uh, basically saying, okay, in Germany we had this refugee crisis, when we had refugees coming to us, and uh, we had a lot of helpfulness that developed among the citizens. Everyone wanted to donate something, wanted to help, and by giving this helpfulness a good platform and shifting it to all people in need, I think we could really uh, develop a mentality for a sharing economy. So just to give you a short overview about how I then developed my reputation my idea further. In Germany there's a chain of social entrepreneurship incubators, basically operated by a uh, company named Social Impact. And uh, I just had a pitch there uh, eight months ago and then you get into a program called Anders Gründer, translated to three different founders. And you get an eight months uh, scholarship basically with workshops, with uh, mentoring sessions, with legal advice, all for all to help to make decisions and build up the location. And one of the more complex systems that or solutions that developed uh, that I developed out of this program was a uh, system to measure the social to measure the social impact uh, more precisely. So not just so not just measuring how many people are going on the website, but also how many donations are actually generated. Uh, we can do this in two ways. First of all, the first case is that an individual wants to give a donation to an organization. So we would enter this address. This is the first thing the website uh, logs in and basically counts. So we get a basic number on how many people just want to check out, have a basic interest about where can I give up donations. Then the visitor selects an organization and prints the so-called package receipt. Basically a piece of paper that says please uh, add this over together with the donation at the organization. And as soon as the visitor prints this package receipt, the website again records this and says, okay, now there's a basic intention to really give something away. Then the uh, donation gets sent over at the organization and the organization can scan the package receipt and by that we will get Okay, now the donation was given over. And in the ideal case, the organization also uh, fills out a small form and describes the donation so that you even get details about the kind of uh, kind of number of donation that were given away. The second case is two individuals um, sharing donations without a non-profit organization in the middle. Here it starts by a visitor creating a donating or searching entry, basically saying, okay, I have a table now and I would like to give it away to someone who needs a table and is nearby me. Uh, as soon as you create it, uh, the website also records this and you can say that's the basic interest. Then someone reacts to the entry naturally and we have the attention of two people wanting to share the donation. Then the donation is sent over. Hard to say. And um, that's the reason for why the handover then has to be confirmed on the website and the entries are delayed. And by that, I get both the confirmation and the details on the uh, donation that was actually made because all the details were written in the customer's entry. Yes, I would like to end with the Ukrainian over to give the need, give summer, and my aim is to share this or to spread this thought in German. Where would you fall in the other stage? My name is in Cologne, and I got a few of people who donated directly to the camp, or yes, as you know, general or persons. Uh, 
and but then I shifted relatively fast to a more general approach focusing on uh, all people in need. So I do not have uh, numbers. Any more? more questions? I have a question. Uh, what about your plans to receive information? What, what kind of solutions do you have to the input um, yeah, The general attempt is that I myself do not uh, collect donations, but I give uh, organizations the opportunity to promote their donation collection in a more general way. Okay. The topic of transportation occurred when we thought about uh, two individuals sharing two individuals sharing a donation because that's very hard for a single individual to transport, for example, a table. So the plan once was to say, okay, maybe there are volunteer uh, people who have a large truck or something and would like to plus for one or two hours on the weekend uh, volunteer the transport table donations, but they never found much to report. You're looking for volunteers to that would be a plan. Yes. Okay. One more question. Uh, your software is in German language. Exactly. Do you intend to, to extend the software for another country's Probably uh, uh, so we are. If, if, if you put in English, it's probably. You yeah, English, English is the next step, uh, yeah. especially for refugees. It's something logical, as many do not speak German. Um, currently, uh, Germany is divided in 16 states. Currently, we are in three of 16 states. So there's a lot of work in Germany to be done okay. now, but then after the that, future. maybe international organization. Okay. More questions? So thank you so much. They were very willing to communicate, and that was one of my first really motivation uh, items or empowerments. Because uh, one of my first phone calls was with a woman from the German Red Cross, I think that's an international organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she basically said, Yeah, she, always, uh, she already planned to make a central database for years, and blah, 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 blah. blah. She would rather love to support this. Uh, idea and now I'm standing in her email um, email system that she, uh, she basically has an email that she, shen, that, she, that she sends to everyone who wants to give away the nation where she basically lists all the organizations that are collecting donations and now I'm also on her email list so she says go on this website and they can see. More questions?